Ah, yeah, yeah, guys. Anyway, let's go and form the Mughal Empire. Before we start, remember that you can subscribe to this channel to get notified about all the future videos and obviously support us growing. Ah, welcome back to Chaotic Succession campaign. So, a very dynamic campaign when I'm playing a different nation every 30 years. You can probably see that already on the map that we start as the Ottomans, then move to Bohemia, Papal State, Uzbek, Burgundy, United States, Ethiopia, Persia, Prussia, and in the last episode it was revolutionary France. I think this is second to the last episode, and today I would like to play as Transoxiana. Why? A lot of you requested that, and also a lot of you requested me to unite India. This is why I plan to play as Transoxiana for Mughal Empire and get as much India as possible. First of all, we are allies to both Persia and Shum, so that might be a little bit useful. Then I can see there's no manpower, but we have plenty of money, which is good, and we are right now running 250,000 troops, 30k of which are mercs. This war that we are fighting right now is against the Timur, so being seized down by them a little bit, but it should be easy to push them back. And uh, that's a war started by Persia. So, as AI occupy these few provinces, let's make sure that Persia is gonna give us at least some of these provinces in a peace deal because we are marking them as our provinces of vital interest. Then later we'll get ready to attack Delhi with which we have truce until 1751, so the next six years. These armies are one big mess. Why don't I go take them all into one province? We're gonna reorganize them. Just in the meantime we need to find the Merck's company which is a free company over here and uh, company of the Ganges that is over here. I'm gonna send these two stacks to fight first. 90 absolutes is pretty good. We're playing with some calf. That is good. We have 20 calf combat ability and we have religious, quantity, diplomatic, economic, trade, defensive, admin ideas. Finishing admin and we still don't have the 27 so that's admin efficiency. We need to, yes, focus on admin. This is good. We're missing uh, diplo points because of too many privileges. Hmm, okay, for example, Astrakhan is completely useless, so I'm gonna cancel the guy in Astrakhan. And then at the same time, there's plenty of admin privileges that we have to play with. For now, not because we are saving our admin mana and we're having the tax modifier. Honestly, instead of the tax thingy, I'd rather go for the trade efficiency and production efficiency. And for the meal points, of course, the war taxes are on. Let's turn them off and let's get rid of one of these completely terrible leaders. I don't know why we have a merchant in Bengal uh, right now, at least right now it does nothing for us because we control nothing in Doab. So I'd rather use it in Doab. But I think I'm um, anyway go for Xi'an because he have 4% of the trade power. So let's just go and exchange these two boys. Let's see. This is pretty much all omen power army. What we can do with it? 60 calf to inf ratio, 40 combat with. I think I'm gonna go with stacks which is uh, 20k cannons each. And it seems like we have more cannons than the other troops. Yes, we have more cannons than the other troops right now. This is why I'm gonna go and uh, delete one of the cannons. Like we don't need that much. And for this, uh, we have four. Let's me split that on a half and a half. That's. 12, 16, we're gonna have to adjust this text a little bit more, but for a starter, we need to do it quickly. I don't want to waste my time on this. Anyway, I'm not gonna pick this. This is 300 points because the next admin idea is gonna need admin tech cost minus 10%. So it's gonna be even cheaper. Just take a look. Pick this. Now this cost me 250 points. And any new cool policies I could use. The military one, I have more out of armies, but we need more manpower. So I'm gonna go for the manpower recovery speed instead. At the same time from Diplo, let's take the trade efficiency. Okay, that's gonna be it. It's 14, 14, 20, 12, 14, 20, 16, 10, 20, 14, 14, 20. We can afford it. And as calf is really useful and I have calf compatibility, I'm gonna keep the calf that was recruited by AIs. I understand how AI has so much money and so little force and some of these forts are being useless, like for example this one. We need uh, forts on the north side of our country, I believe. But you know what, let's first spend our money on getting universities everywhere because we need to develop. I could do it uh, more efficiently, meaning uh, pick the province that has to be developed, good modifiers to death cost, but I'm just too lazy right now. Let's see, <laughs> 1.4 million loses in the freaking AI war. Did we get anything? I believe we just did. Yes, Komnus, Balk, Shard, 
is going to Transoxiana and Chagat. Oh, nice. I've got this province from Chagatai and this three provinces from the Timur. It's absolutely war for us and we're gonna get ready to fight Delhi soon. That's a nice one. Brilliant Diplomat is uh, 50 legalism, so I can just go. Take corruption, decrease corruption and get back legalism to 100. Told you only 243 points for a freaking army technology and I'm so ahead on it. I'm starting to build multiple forts to organize this country. One is gonna be Ali Muli, second one coming in Sozak, third one will be somewhere in the north, probably in Tobikti, they are not really crossing, maybe Argen for the actual crossing. Also if our trade is organized, plus the new policy for trade efficiency, income is already 332. By the way, I was always thinking that Shun is Emperor of China, but I'm totally be wrong. It's actually you and they have no mandate. No mandate is not really helpful. It's like no empire, no merics, no goods produced, no fire damage. <laughs> oh my god, they are so bad. Very well, very well. Our revolution in France is not stopping there right now in the middle of killing Spain. Poor Ethiopia just put in half by the Ottomans. Yes, I should have more than plenty yes, of favors on Persia and Shun. Why do they use them? To get manpower from Persia, no, get money from Persia, uh, 900 ducats, and soldiers from Shun. But it turns out they don't have any manpower. Okay, now as I'm slowly hitting the points cap, I'm nowhere close to get the technologies. I'm gonna go and develop with my Diplo and the mill points a little bit. Most importantly, get the promises up to 20 or up to 10 development, depending how much they have for it. Just 14 points, one, two, three, up to 20, unlocking a new building slot. For example, over here, it's also extremely cheap. There is no prosperity. That's why I'm gonna just develop it twice for the new building slot at 10 development. And actually, that's what I should focus on first. So getting provinces not up to 20, but first up to 10, then we can think about doing it up to 20. Ah, and the gold mine is time to develop it. You can see how cheap it is. Well, it is a freaking desert, so it costs a little bit to develop. But it's not really bad. Let's get it up to 10. You're still good with mana. And our income is already 335. Yes, at last, first AI to proclaim the hegemony. 1751, and that's obviously the Ottomans. Above the Ottomans, he has a huge... Why France is not pissing out Spain? They are still fighting. Ah, they did the revolution castles by, right? Yeah, so that's really far harder to enforce anything in this kind of the wars. So let's take a look at the biggest economies in game. Yes, Ottomans 1000, Revolution type France 870, Persia 540. Very, very nice. How about the treasury pop is 30k? Oh, nice. Maximum powers, they are not increasing it much. Revolution of France, Prussia is high, but that's all because also the development is fairly high. Anyway, we are good to go to declare on Delhi. They're gonna be supported by Oman, Uzbek and Andhra. So actually, I will be able to break alliance between Uzbek and the Ottomans thanks to this. Let me declare the war, call Aquino Persia and shoot into that. That's gonna be imperialized, so we can take more. And after this war, plan is to form and Mughals. Whoa, okay. Uh, did, did, was Delhi in hands of Jump already? It looks like Delhi lost all of these provinces recently. How about army quality of Uzbek? Oh, we have only 5 poor. I have 8.1. That should be a fairly easy stack wipe. Thank you. So, actually, let's see the army qualities as well. And I want to see only within this war army quality, morale. It's gonna be war enemies and war allies. Yeah, only Persia has more than us. Like, really, this Gujarat is also huge. Wasn't that big at the start of the session? Wait, did France take anything in this war? I think they didn't. They just released Revolutionary Leon and Revolutionary Galicia. You might laugh at, oh, it's a small Oman. Look, he attacked me with actual 80,000 troops and I have to run away far from it. So they got the freaking mountain battle, which I don't want to be part of. Well, well, well now they're attacking me here. This is a dryland province. We have the morale guy here. Discipline is going to be of more use. And let's take a look. Uh, can we win here? Of course, we've lost the leader just before he joined the battle. I'm going to have to fight a week without freaking leader. I think we should be able to win it. Because this is 120,000 troops from Delhi. They seem to be late. Let's just take a look. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. That's gonna be tough. We can win this battle. 
But they're reinforcing. They're reinforcing faster than us. No! God, please, no! No! Yeah, we're losing this. Industrial revolution is starting complete in actual law. Uh, look at the map. Oh, you don't see it. Uh, do you see the map mode? How many like little blue and green dots there are? Yeah, that's all the armies. Uh, guys, you run. You run. How the losses? They've lost far less than us. This battle hurt us a lot. Let me focus on separate pressing Uzbek, please. I should get rid of Uzbek right now. So as mentioned, breaking the relations with Delhi and the Ottomans. Taking a little bit of money on top of that. Something similar to Oman. I just want to break your relations uh, with not even Delhi. They're not allied anymore. Let me just go and take war operations and money. Now we are only left with Delhi and Andhra. Revolutionary Sicily. That's also new. That used to be Spain. And uh, it looks like there's the end of revolution over there. Well, 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 France won't be happy about that. I actually managed to get Merchant Guild's temporarily loyal. For some time, maybe even more, yes. That's gonna be at least seven and a half the death cost. Let's use that to develop even more of the provinces. So I'm getting into India. I need to change uh, my merchants a little bit. I'm thinking of actually sending one to Doab instead of Samarkand. Let's see how it's gonna work right now. It's 130. <laughs> Eight of income that we are having, and within the month tick, that's actually increased to 140. Not much, but we are gonna get into this note fully very soon. I mean it for real. Look, this is what I'm taking from Delhi. Not too much, I guess, expansion or extension is gonna hurt us a little bit. I'm gonna right now take a break, call these provinces, then attack Jaunpur. That gives me a possibility to become an empire. So our max option is gonna be 100, and more importantly, a mission. Indian raid, that's more of armies, manpower covers with a leader and claims. And as I concurred these claims, I did this piece deal on purpose, that's gonna be even more claims as we are shock damage and manpower recovery speed. Now Imperial Conquest is also some prestige and years of separatism, and here to get Conquest of Delhi I need a province from Jaunpur in exchange. Gonna get the discipline, money and prestige. Guys, there's so much money to steal from India. 46 variant do up, 105 in Gujarat. 33 in Coromandel and 43 in Bengal. I think as there are not that many states in Lahore and I need more merchants. I'm gonna simply add everything over here to a trade company, meaning only provinces in India, because uh, remember, to add a province to a trade company, you need to do it outside of your own subcontinent. Mine is Tartary, so I cannot add this, but I can add provinces in Persia or I can add provinces in India. So right away, improve the trade centers to high level, as well as get some improvements because I have a little bit of money. Oh no, Ottomans are even killing Oman. Oh They're getting into India. How do they still have gap capacity for all of these terrains? Autonom and they stated most of it. They would love to be my ally, by the way, but I'm not gonna do that. As I'm about to attack uh, Jaunpur, by the way, I told you, Inca is gonna increase 446. Jaunpur is small, right? No, oh, they not. We have 200,000 troops, at least with no manpower. Now, the thing is, doing them are gonna recruit at least one stack of mercs because I don't really have much of manpower. I'm thinking between two, which is Grand Company, we translate it to Compania Imienia Granta, or maybe Independent Company, which in Polish is uh, Compania Walcząca o Niepoległość. Now, I'm not so sure which one of these two is gonna be better for us. I will probably... I can afford both, that's that's for sure. Let's go for the Independent Company because I will not hit the force limit or anything in that sort of safe manpower. Okay, Mr. Jump, let's do this. Imperialism, uh, Shun is not so sure if they want to help us. Unless I promise them land. What, what kind of land? Do you want Jaunpu provinces? Ah, you know what? I'm gonna do it myself. Fine, I'll do it myself. Screw it, I don't need any Shun's help to hint here. Declare the war. Let's see the army qualities on both sides. Yeah, we should be fine. Send this guy is here, send this guy is here, and then the rest is gonna stay around and watch. <laughs> it turns out jump because arm is all around the Persian here. So I'm gonna send hmm, this one stack to go and try fighting them. And there's a big battle in Batiana that I'm trying to take a fight on. I scorch everything in Panipat, so it's gonna be harder for them to reinforce it. 
But I'm looking right now at the amount of the troops revolution call well, interesting. I'm looking at the amount of the troops that are trying to reinforce with and yeah, I don't think there is a big of a sense to keep fighting here. Let's get these troops, let's get this forward and try again. Anyway, I think I should be able to call Shun. They're gonna help me probably not even with Jamalpur, but with these little nations that are allied to them around here. Okay, I got them to attack me here. <laughs> There's so many of troops from them. Let's see if they even try reinforcing this battle. I don't think they will, yes. No, they're trying to attack me from another one. Nope, they changed their mind. It's gonna be a lot of things going on now. <sighs> okay, let's scorch it because I think this is a good province for us to fight. Shift consolidate. We have the, the stacks of mercs. Oh, come on. I know he wants to attack me. Conquest against Ottomans. Okay, I think it's just, just so far on uh, revolutionary commonwealth, guys. <sighs> oh, revolution keeps spreading, same as Prash is spreading into uh, Scandinavia. Oh, no. anyway, anyway, let's uh, move slowly with this stacks, step by step. End of revolution in Ansbachu. I'm getting attacked here. I think this is a good bait. Scorch it. They are movement locked, so reinforce it. And see how much I can destroy them there. I think I should be able to easily destroy them. Even go and attack them in Panipat to get a few battles at once. You guys go farther to attack in this province just before joining shift consolidate everything to fight with the full strength and that should be really a nice amount of the war score i wish shift consolidate from these battles one person is something gets uh, another kind of stack over there just after the math tick to let them reinforce some of the morale finland of novgorod just got released you reinforce there as well he goes start searching down Delhi, because uh, this guy should have enough of power to win on Panipat. Please, come on. Yes, thank you so much. How much troop did he lose? 160,000. I've lost 140,000. Anyway, this stack will be taking care of Delhi. And the mercs will help once he's searched this down. In the meantime, I can go around and keep fighting small stacks with Jaumpur, because they are retreating now. They are on retreat. We have to use this opportunity. To go and win a couple fights and get the war score for that. Ah, come on. Change your mind. You want to go to Churu? You want to go to Churu? Yes. Stay in Churu. Where I'm gonna easily go and catch you. Maybe without the force march on this one stack. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think I want to fight here. Let's just do something like this. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is a stack wipe, I believe. No, it's not a stack wipe. We are still paying 1.33. And 1.34, I'm sure it will be a stack wipe. Why the amount of armies keep increasing? They, uh, they are already at 300,000. How many of mercs do they have in this amount? 140,000 mercs. Let's see. Mewat is a perfect place for us to battle because it's freaking highlands. That's why I am engaging here with smaller stacks. As they're not reinforcing, that's an easy one. And uh, let's yeah, let's just walk around and see if I can go and engage in any other battles. But I'm running out of manpower slowly. As I'm starting losing innovativeness, then we take the miltech because we're losing a lot of calf. That's new calf units, and that's also infantry shock for us. So I need these new units. I'm gonna change them just before the end of month. This way, yeah, Delhi will not even react to go and attack me. Once that goes takes care of the uh, capital, that's the war goal, the rest is gonna take care of the armies. There goes the institution, why don't we go and embrace it? That just requires a few loans. Thank you so much. Now I can take the admin and diplotex to be up to <laughs> I'm hitting the admin points cap again. How close are we to peace out Joan for place? Let's do it right away. Look at these borders, look at this aggressive expansion, it's all good. The next step is to attack either Bengal or Gujarat. Uh, just first, I can click this mission, which is giving us the discipline money, and then we can go and start coring Delhi, because as soon as I core it, I'll be able to form the Mughals Empire just now. Again, let's take two years of a break to core the provinces, 
and then move forward against either Gujarat or Bengal. That obviously made us a great power. The question is, uh, which number? The great power number three. We are, of course, just below revolutionary France. Oh, really, Persia? I wanted to take care of Uzbek by myself. It's just not as big of a you know focus for us as India. Sure, I'm gonna help you, but I'm just gonna stay FK in this war. By the way, Shun just declared imperialist war against Great Britain. You plan to land here or something? First perking nature of revolutions that I would like to take from them. It's uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe Fort Smash, maybe Artillery Damage from Back Row, maybe Artillery Bonus versus Fort. Yes, let's go for the Artillery Bonus versus Fort. I don't know. Persia is just stealing so much trade from me and Samarkand. Why did I try and going to give them an embargo? So now instead of 186 of trade income we have 201 because this increased to 73%. That's a big of a help, but it's still not enough. Let's make sure actually every trade center has a trade building because it seems that it's right now not the case. Number one, here it's fine. Here it's also fine. And that's gonna be another one once I get money. While in Lahore I was focusing on the trade company, over here I'm 100% focusing on states. So besides just stating it, we're gonna also go and not dig us out only because we are still at war and I also cannot form Mughals as long as we are fighting. You know what, most of these provinces have town halls after AI, so it's dropping 0.36 monthly. I don't really have to manually decrease it. Oh, new colonization just got created. Australia is right now independent. Same for Colombia. I think it's France destroying the Spanish colonial empire. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Persia just took all of these provinces for themselves, but they also fed Bohemia. With all of this, why would you feed Bohemia? Why is that you for yourself? Or maybe me? Ah, yeah, yeah, guys. Anyway, let's go and form the Mughal Empire. Yes, please, that's gonna be new ideas. New estates, which is uh, Rashputs, which broke our Kremlin a little bit, but I can just go and seize land to get over 80%. Now the missions. This will give me reform progress and state maintenance, and that's pretty much it for the stuff that I can go ahead with. And the demon states, nope. Why for the policies? Uh, I have three policies now. Three military policies. Let me take the second one. Thank you so much. Now the reforms. Here we have Indian Sultanate. Then we have Mughal Divan, which is uh, GAF capacity. Even more GAF capacity. Z even more GAF capacity. Maybe uh, this instead. That's boosting Rashpus, but it's nothing really overpowered here. I think that's gonna be it. GAF capacity. 1000 max of it. And let me take a look at the ideas to show you. It's calf compatibility, co creation costs, tech costs, a discipline, unrest, idea costs, military free policies, tax meta, prestige, as well as stab cost. Now, also remember that Mughals have this thing that if you concur whole culture group, like for example Hindustani, you're gonna get a certain bonus. For Hindustani, that's 10% co creation cost. And to get the whole Hindustani, we don't uh, really need that much more. We need to conquer this southern provinces. Oh, I think that moved my capital to Delhi. No, 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 no. We move it back to Samarkand. Nothing changed over here. Do I have to uh, re-add everything to Lahore? Or this province is uh, already in a trade company? Uh, I have to re-add them. Freaking game trolled me, guys. Freaking gear trolled me. I'm pretty sure that they also have lost possibility to add them for the next five years. Uh, how's our income? Did it drop much because of this? Yeah, it dropped much. <laughs> me too. Ah, you've lost the merchant. Oh my god. I hate this game. This is fine. Let's just get ready to go and fight with Gujarat and Bengal. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna declare on Gujarat. Ask Persia to help. That's gonna be for imperialism. Bengal is gonna help them, but. I'm right away gonna go and try taking some fights against them. I just need access from these boys first. So I'm gonna attack, for example. This army with Fatah General, just make sure to get uh, the best general I have. I'm gonna also go and fight some armies around here without the general. We need to get Bengal out of this war ASAP. There's, ooh, ooh, ooh. There's no sense to waste time on them. Let me go and focus on getting their capital of one stack. Remember, Gujarat has 400,000 troops. Bengal has 170,000 troops. I have 260. And uh, Persia has all the troops here. So I'm 
expecting to be flooded by Gujarat troops soon. Yeah, it's happening exactly what I expected. <laughs> All these troops are already in my lands. Uh, well, 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 let's focus on getting Bengal out of this war first. And then we can think uh, what's next. And honestly, I'm gonna go and bridge the walls in the capital to make it slightly faster. Gujarat is already at half a million of troops, so right now they actually have more than us. Okay, I'm getting close to get Bengal out. 38, 48, because we got the capital. And I'm slowly sieging more. Just maybe if I keep their ass in the battle in here, Jaunpur, it's gonna be even faster and better. Let me go and try. Attack even here. Reinforcing with mercs just to save more of the manpower for these guys fighting. They're not even gonna try reinforcing. Yes. <laughs> We've killed almost all of the army. Now, yeah, it's getting closer and closer. We just uh, need to be cautious about all of this tax from Gujarat. That's why I'm gonna go and move down to speed 4 instead of speed 5. And I see a very small army of Bengal here, which I'm gonna go and attack with the calf medal. A little bit of more, too much of the calf over here. But it's good we keep decreasing their amount of their... <laughs> no, we keep increasing. They have 270,000 already. And uh, these guys already have uh, 460,000. Uh, of course, it had to happen. 564 error. A hunting accident. Yeah, it's just... Doesn't matter. 453 is also not bad. Prash is about to destroy Commonwealth again. That's actually a war between Lothrang and Wetterbank. Oh, uh, it's such a waste. They could have taken so much lands from the Commonwealth. Okay, Miss Embergal. Goodbye. I don't have time to keep this one for more. We've killed 166,000 of the troops and still 140,000 of Gujarati troops, which will continue killing now. No, Gujarat is definitely not very stacking. 200,000 troops in one province. It's only half of their army. Looks like Persia don't really care that Gujarat is overstacking. They attack even Batiana, and I think Gujarat is getting absolutely demolished in this battle, and I just love it. Guys, this kind of the late game, this size of the countries, it's really hard to make a quick war. These ones are going for five years already. You can see we've killed 560,000 Gujarat troops and ordered 200,000 from Bengal. <sighs> we are only getting close to finish. At the same time, it seems that Persia is at war with the Ottomans. Ottoman, yeah, really? Really, Persia, you're protecting three provinces minor from the Ottomans. What are you doing? So I'm hitting the points cap. Let me take the admin deck. We still have 400 power points. And that allows us to take... I have absolutely no idea what. Why don't we go for the calf meta as we're using cavalry already? So let's take the calf cost and calf commutability. And this I'll leave for now. Okay, guys. So yeah, only 1.4 million troops had to die for this. But we can peace them out. And that's a huge, massive, peasy look at these beautiful Mughals. What is our truce with Jaunpur ending? Could I clear these borders? No, we'll leave that to AI. First myself, let me decrease war exhaustion and start coring all of these provinces. They're gonna be core 1772, so we might still have a chance for a quick war against Malwa to fix the borders additionally. But still, anyway... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add all of the princes in Gujarat to a trade company and Lahore trade company because I can finally do that. But at the same time, everything that is in the notes of. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything that is in the note of DOAP is gonna be stated by us. 670 income is not bad. But let's go and clear the borders for the war with Malwa. Imperialism, yeah. Sean, if you want to come, come. There's no time for more. I want to finish this campaign in less than two years. Let me take this for just slightly better borders. And remember, as we have so many modifiers to core creation cost, coring is just taking 16 months for us right now. This is it, guys. 850 income. I think this is not bad. We are number two great power just above Portugal. Maximum power 340,000. This could be higher, but at least our force limit is 700. This nation is just perfect for AI to go and dominate Asia. So guys, as we are the year 1775, whoo, United States and their borders, this is just so perfect. What I would like to propose to you is that we will do one more video with a nation that you decide, 
at the 1805 and then I'm gonna also spectate it at the 1821 to see what AIs will do till the end of the game. For today, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see this final episode, remember to leave a like because if you hit 3000 likes, this is gonna happen. And of course, remember to subscribe to the channel to get notified about this final video and I'm gonna see you very soon.